Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have m plus n equals to 1 and m multiplied by n equals to 1. So here we solve this problem for the values of m and n. So the very first thing we are going to do is here first we call this equation as equation number 1 and we call this as equation number 2. And now here first we focus on equation number 1 so uh, we write it here from equation number 1 and here we move this m to the right hand side so we get the value of n so that our n is equals to 1 minus m and we call this equation is equation number 3 and now in the next step here we substitute the value of this n in equation number 2 so that here our equation number 2 implies that in this form so we have m times of n and we have our m and the value of n is 1 minus m and this whole equals to 1 so here we multiply this m on both of these terms and it will be written as m minus m square and we end here this is equals to 1 so uh, now you see here this uh, equation will become in quadratic form so now we convert this uh, quadratic equation into the standard form so that here we move these two terms to the right hand side and it will be written as so this is minus m square when we move it into the right hand side it will be written as plus m square and this is plus m and when we move in the right hand side it will be written as minus m and this is our plus 1 and this whole equals to 0. So now uh, this will become the quadratic equation in standard form and now uh, we solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula so that here first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 1 and c equals to plus 1. So this is the over quadratic form, uh, the coefficients of this equation. Uh, and now uh, here you see that uh, about the quadratic formula. So our quadratic formula is written as in this form m equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is our quadratic formula and now here we substitute the values of a b and c in this formula so uh, you see here we have the value of b is minus 1 we substitute it here and it will be written as minus times of minus 1 plus minus square root of b square so our b is minus 1 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 1 square root and this whole divided by 2 times of a and our a is also 1. So now uh, uh, in the next step we have we need little bit simplification here and we have this minus times of minus becomes plus 1 and plus minus square root of this is minus 1 squared is plus 1 and minus 4 times of 1 becomes 4 and this whole divided by 2. So uh, here we uh, write this expression as 1 plus minus square root of 1 minus 4 is minus 3 square root divided by 2. So that uh, here we have the value of m equals to 1 plus minus uh, square root of 3 and here we separate the square root of minus 1 in this form and this whole divided by 2. And we know that about the square root of minus 1 uh, and uh, it is uh, the value of square root of minus 1 is equals to iota so we write it as 1 plus minus uh, square root of 3 and here we separate this fraction so it is 1 by 2 plus minus square root of 3 by 2 into iota so finally we have uh, two values of m and these are 1 by 2 plus minus square root of 3 by 2 iota so these are the two complex values of the given question so now uh, here we use these values of m and we find the values of n
so uh, here first we write uh, we convert these in two cases so here first we have m equals to 1 over 2 plus square root of 3 over 2 iota so this is the positive value and the negative value is m equals to 1 over 2 minus square root of 3 over 2 into iota so these are the uh, two cases and now here we need uh, to copy down the equation number 3 so here we write that equation number 3 implies that so our equation number 3 is n equals to 1 minus m and now we substitute the uh, both of the above values of these two m in here and we get the corresponding values of n so this implies that we have n equals to 1 minus m and we have the value of m is uh, 1 over 2 plus square root 3 over 2 into iota and uh, similarly uh, here we parallel solve this case so we have uh, n equals to 1 over 2 so in this case we have uh, 1 over 2 and this is over um, minus so uh, here we have 1 minus m so we write it as 1 minus m is 1 over 2 minus square root of 3 over 2 into iota so this is our two case and now we first focus on this case and here we get the value of n and after that we move towards this case so here we multiply this minus sign on both of these terms and we write it as 1 minus 1 over 2 minus square root of 3 over 2 iota so here we uh, just take the LCM of this term and we have 1 minus 1 over 2 becomes 1 over 2 minus square root of 3 over 2 iota so here we have this is the value of n when we have the value of m is this okay so uh, now we can simplify this one and we have n equals to 1 minus 1 over 2 plus square root of 3 over 2 iota here we multiply this minus sign on both of these terms so this minus times of minus becomes plus so 1 minus 1 over 2 is equals to uh, 1 over 2 plus square root of 3 over 2 iota so this is the second complex value and of n and when we have the value of m is this so finally we have uh, two solutions of this problem so the first solution is m n equals to 1 over 2 plus square root of 3 over 2 iota this is the value of m and the value of n is 1 minus square root of 3 over 2 into iota this is the our first solution and similarly the second solution is m n equals to the value of m in second case is 1 over 2 minus square root of 3 over 2 iota and the value of n is 1 over 2 plus square root of 3 over 2 iota so these are the two solutions of the given question and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos